Hi and welcome to my playhouse and this is the sixth episode of this series where I'm trying to relive the 1978 car battery which is right here behind me and it's time for another cycle and the car battery has been charging for over a week now so I just took it off power um, the leaks are hanging here from the charger and I'm about to uh, put on a load and once again it's this 3 watt lamp that I'm gonna be loading the lamp with, the, the battery with um, and it's connected, the battery is connected to this inverter which is powering this lamp and I'm gonna time it, I have this radio clock thingy when I turn that on it starts from zero and then it counts up the minutes. So that's the plan. So let's go ahead and power on this and turn on the lamp. And I'll just reboot this. There we are. So, and the meter. Let's see what power we're getting. Having difficulties with the meter. Okay, we are already down at 11 volts, 11.2. So I will we'll get back when the when the inverter is um, complaining about low voltage. Okay, we are very far down. It's gonna be alerting in any minute now, and it's only been on for six minutes, seven minutes. And now it's 10.5. There it is. And we are still on 7 minutes. And I'm gonna turn off the light. So, 7 minutes. Ah, oh, just about 8 minutes. Well, um... One of the thoughts has been to drain the battery for assets, taking out all the battery assets in the in the battery and filtrating it to see if I can get rid of any metal dirt and stuff in it. Um, I don't know if I want to do that. It's kind of battery assets is not entirely uh, safe. If you get it on your skin or your eyes and stuff like that, it's absolutely not nice. So I'm still thinking about that. I I was thinking about maybe taking a big box like this and just tipping the battery over and let the the assets go out into to the box. Of course, the box has to be emptied and cleaned before before doing that, but it something that could be done but um, right now I'm gonna charge the battery again and I'm gonna try another charger uh, it has been this one that has been charging it the last many times and um, well when it's not improving I'm, I have to try something else so I think I'll try this one again uh, and charge it for 24 hours and we'll see tomorrow how this goes. So it's been about 10 hours since I cycled this battery last and it has been charging on the red charger down here ever since. Um, and I didn't, I didn't unplug the inverter, I just turned it off. So everything is as, as of yesterday. I just put this back on and uh, we're gonna uh, drain it once more and see how many minutes we get out of it today. So I'm gonna turn on the let's turn on the clock the first this time and the inverter and take off the charge and turn on the light and power the meter and we are at 11.5.4 
It's dropping rapidly. <laughs> this is not gonna take very long. Okay, we are very close. The meter is at 10.51. Yesterday it went down to 10.48 before the inverter complained, but I expect we'll be there in just a few seconds. I think I have to do something drastic to get this battery working again. This diesel fader thing, that seemed to be a mistake. It just got worse. There we are. Okay. Just about five minutes, maybe. Let's just call it six minutes. We're probably just about six minutes. Six minutes? No, uh, five minutes. Okay, back on the charger. And I'll turn off the inverter and I'll turn off the power supply. Six minutes and I'll turn off this. I think I have to try and take out the assets of it and filter them and put them back in and maybe measure the the amount of acid in the water. Um, let's try that. The car battery has been charging for approximately 12 days now. I've been sick and I was not able to go to my playhouse for one weekend so uh, I left it on the charger uh, so um, I'm gonna cycle it now and see what what we get 14 days should be enough to uh, totally top off a battery but I don't think it's gonna be any better than the last few times but let's have a look okay so we'll just do it in the normal order we're gonna take off the charger of the battery somewhere and we'll turn on the inverter and we can see that the voltage on the multimeter is 12 point one something and let's let's turn on the timer first and the lights and we're off and it dropped to 11.3 I don't know how long this is going to take, but we will get back to it. This is not going to be very long. It's already down to 10.56. It's Maybe it's going to go just under 10. I think we've seen that the last couple of times, but it's only at one minute right now. Maybe we just got two minutes out of it. This is really bad. So I'll have to do the drastic thing of I'll try and take out the acid of the battery and see what what that will do. Maybe check the the plates inside of it and see if if this is a project to really continue. Oh, we are all the way down to 10.43 now. We should get a reaction just yeah, there it is. Two minutes, two and a half probably. Not good. Hi. I've got some bad news. I was preparing for the... for the playing around with the battery. The 1978 car battery that I've been trying for a while to... Uh, to relive and uh, I was gonna I was gonna take out the water uh, the acid and put it in a in this bucket and uh, I was preparing for that and then I just happened to look down into the battery and 
what I saw was not good. And I'm gonna try to see if I can film this, but the battery plates inside is kind of cracked up. And it looks like there's, there's like metal plates inside the battery that uh, that had the, the lead on it. And the lead is cracked off the metal plates. So we're gonna try to have a look at that. Okay, this is kind of difficulty with only two hands. But inside here the, there's iron, iron plates and there's supposed to be lead on the sides of it and it's just totally wasted. It's pretty badly broken up. I think it's supposed to be water in here too, but I probably boiled that off. Um, so this is this is not especially good. Yeah, this is. I don't think there's any chance of saving this or getting anything good out of it. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna give up on this battery and say that that was that for that project. That's kind of too bad. The best thing that I can probably do is to turn in this battery. There's actually we have kind of a system here in Denmark where you get you get around around 10 bucks for a used battery, for a used car battery like this. So I'll I'll trade it in. I might just get another one instead. A, a old car battery that's a bit better than this one. Uh, but I don't think there's anything to To play with here, it's a, uh, it's not gonna be a winner. So this battery was too far gone. It's kind of odd because to start with, it, it, it's, it was improving a lot in the start. Um, so why it's, it, it just died suddenly? I have no idea. So I think this is going to be the end of, of this series of trying to revive the 1978 car battery. I was really hoping for another outcome than this because it, happy endings are so much better. Okay, it's absolutely dead. This tester is not even working. <laughs> but um, thank you for watching and please give it a thumbs up anyway even though it's gonna be a, a burial of the good old battery and hopefully the the lead and the plates and the plastic and everything will come to life in a new battery somewhere else where they reuse it and hope you enjoy my video and do give it a thumbs up and um, you'll see me again have a really nice day. Bye-bye.